Last winter, I bought a 1997 M3 off of Craigslist for pretty cheap. About nine miles into the 60 mile drive home, the engine blew up, which I was kind of expecting. So anyway, I parked it where it sat until I could enact my plan. See, I had a five liter Ford engine that just happened to be sitting in my garage. In February, I dragged it into my garage and with the help of a couple friends, yanked out the busted straight six and got to work installing the 5.0. And two weeks later, the V8 was in place, temporarily plumbed up and wired up, ready for a first fire. I loaded a bass tune into the Megasquirt and cranked it over. So, it's ready to start. Oh, really? No, not dry. Right. Just start. Oh. That's exciting, eh? Yeah. After some tinkering... Some more tinkering. With a successful first fire, it was now time to integrate the BMW controls with the Ford engine. There's a full write-up on michaelboom.com of everything I needed to do. Here are just a couple examples. The first thing to do was to make a new throttle cable bracket. I had to rotate the throttle body for better hood clearance, so the entire bracket needed to be redone. I used the Ford throttle cable and spliced it with the BMW cable right at the pedal. Next up was the exhaust. I bought several different two and a quarter inch mandrel bins, then chopped and spliced everything together to make the new engine with the original cat back. Once the exhaust was mocked up and ready to go, it could be fully welded.
the throttle cable and the exhaust installed, the car could be started and revved from inside the cabin. After that, it was time to put the front end back together and made up the cooling system. Once that was installed and filled, it just needed a few revs to be bled, then it was ready to go. And then with all that done, it was time for the first drive. Check that out in this video right here.